guys welcome back to the dna medical series i'm damar and i'm here with a brand new video this week now in today's video we're going to look on alopecia so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also to follow our instagram page at dn underscore medical series alopecia is a very common problem and it can lead to hair thinning it can also lead to hair loss and finally complete baldness so most of the time alopecia is caused from an autoimmune condition and this means that the body just attacks the hair follicle and this leads to hair thinning followed by hair loss and sometimes complete baldness depending on how severe it is so today we're going to look on some natural remedies or some home remedies that you can use to help treat your hair loss each method will not work for everyone so you just need to explore and see what works best for you you can use jojoba oil and this can help to reproduce hair cells you can also use aloe vera which has shown to increase hair growth and you can use it as a paste you can use it naturally as the plant also you can use licorice root and apply it to the dry scalp and this can also promote hair growth you can also use onion juice rosemary oil garlic coconut milk because it has a lot of protein and protein helps to grow your hair you can also try apple cider vinegar because it has a lot a lot of benefits when it comes to the hair follicle and it can also help with hair growth so your safflower oil it's a good ingredient to rub on your scalp and it can stimulate follicle growth however it can also be used as a dandruff treatment for your eggs, eggs contain a lot of protein which can help to promote growth. So you can apply the egg to your scalp, you can use it with aloe vera or other treatment above and it even works better. Now if you're trying your natural remedies and over months it is not working or it is becoming more and more severe, you need to check it out with your doctor. As I said before, there are many many different causes of alopecia and they need to figure out what the cause is. Sometimes it can be treated with corticosteroids injection to the scalp or you can get oral corticosteroids and these are usually prescribed by your doctor. Alright, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.